day 70. There's Dumont Lake. It's like five and we're finally getting started. It was so hard to get up this morning. It just was so comfortable in there. It rained last night, the fly is wet, but not too bad. Anyway, the mosquitoes are starting to get up, but we're still getting out before they get to just apocalyptic levels, so that's nice. Yeah, we'll see how far we get today. We didn't get very far yesterday, but the main goal was pretty much just to get our shit done in town and get back to trail anyway, so mission accomplished. And we had an awesome time hanging out with Chris and Kendra, um, who helped us out so much yesterday, which was awesome. Uh, but yeah, then we had to find our way back to the trail because we slept off at trying to find a flat spot away from the mosquitoes. And we go back into the forest. So, better go look at the map. You know, it's beautiful out here. Sunrise, little puppy clouds, big open fields and marshes. Hmm. Man, it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. Oh my God, I love those colors. Nice. Did you ever see the West Nile source look so beautiful? He's huffing at some antelope that are running off over the hill there. I don't know why. <laughs> I think he just likes to make racket. Okay, I think I'm starting to get used to this waking up early thing. This morning, actually, this is the first time I woke up or I actually started the day hiking the, in the dark on an actual trail. Every other time it's been on a road. But, yeah. Wow. It's awesome. It's beautiful out here. I do like watching the sunrise. Colors are great. Can't really catch them on video. Or in photos. I'm just gonna have to come out and see for yourself. There's a bunch of antelope. You can tell the antelope by their white butts. And they're skinny. Skinnier than the elk or the deer. Oh man, there's like two uh, elk up on the hill too. Up, right up there. Oop. I'm like super zoomed in, so my finger looks especially fat. We're getting up to uh, the base camp trailhead. It's over there up in the trees where many, many, many more of the mosquitoes live. But I saw on Gut Hook that you can get three bars of LTE here, so. We decided to have a sit and it's out in the open. There are fewer mosquitoes and kind of bug proofed right now. So can enjoy the clouds changing color, get a little service for a minute. I got to order some more bug lotion. I need gators badly. Oh my God. My shoes just keep getting full of shit. And now that we're back up high and on a trail, there's uh, still snow and mud about. You can actually, there's some snow over there. So we've gone through some snow. And then obviously the runoff is causing a ton of mud. So I need to order some stuff on Amazon, an umbrella to go through the basin. And um, yeah, hopefully that will get to uh, me in time an encampment because I'm pretty sure by the time we get there, I'll be out of the bug lotion that we have. But oh my God, look at this view, it's gorgeous. And beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Oh, hey, walking through piles of snow. We're back. <laughs> and when not in snow, ugh, I gotta get some new shoes. Arr. Then it's soupy, muddy, muddy runoff. 
Oh my goodness, but this snow is not nearly as impactful as what we had been doing. Little bits here and there. That's cool. Get me muddy in the middle or early in the day. All right, I guess. As long as I can have them dry by bedtime. Well, at least today we don't have to worry about water. There's water everywhere. We're actually, most of today is going to be like walking by and up creeks and streams and lakes and uh, whatnot. That little log crossing was nice. Not too bad. Ooh, look at that foam right there. Yeah, sudsy. Should wash my yesterday's socks in that. <sighs> yep, gonna have to wash my dirty socks at some point in a dirty creek. So hopefully at least they'll be a little less gritty for tomorrow. One of the things that you have to deal with when you're back on trail and off the roads, the socks get way more hammered way faster but damn this is beautiful out here oh looky looky i hope you see a moose today i haven't seen a bear yet where are all the bears at where are my bears at this is fish hook lake Oh my goodness, so beautiful. It is a soupy, muddy mess out here. And these shoes didn't have any traction when they were brand new. They sure don't have any now, but oh my gosh, this is beautiful out here. It's so quiet. All this thing is missing is a moose or a bear. And in addition to the mud and the snow, I guess we'll have a shitload of blowdowns too. The makes the going so much slower and dirtier. But oof, I better not get any holes on my new dress. Wait, I'm super annoyed. Less. Well, we've we're sitting down. We got wet, muddy. This is an awesome rock. Super awesome sitting rock. You need to clear out all these extra rocks people stocked up in here. You'd have like a sweet, sweet recliner and an amazing view of that. But yeah, I feel productive. I need new shoes. These are like spent and the tread is about non-existent. So I got a hold of my mom. There's actually LTE here. So I got a hold of my mom. She's sending shoes to encampment. I got bug lotion coming to encampment. I got a solar umbrella coming to encampment. Holy cow, encampment's gonna be like hiker Christmas or some sort of hiker holiday gift giving event. Can't wait, super exciting. And I'll be in Wyoming where I've never been, which is also super exciting. I can't wait for that. I love going to new places. Anyway, we're just slow. Who cares? I mean, we started early. We got all day. We'll get to where we're going. There's still plenty of snow out there under the trees. We're going to be higher. We'll be in the mountain circle wilderness early, later today. Um, getting up to past 11,000 feet today. We'll see how the snow is up there. Mostly it's just been like a couple of patches here and there and a soupy muddy mess everywhere else. But I hear there's no mosquitoes. There's a breeze, bug free. Gotta love it. Ah, all these beautiful flowers up here that I haven't seen before because we're higher. Hello. Hello. Ah, luscious. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Damn, now I wish I had kept that flower book. I don't know what any of those are. Just gotta try and take good pictures. But oh, I really like those cream colored ones. They're gorgeous. I just found something in a snow hole a minute ago. And I didn't know what it was. It looked like a spider web or something. 
and a night crawler picked it up and pulled it apart. There was something dead in it. <sighs> he doesn't carry hand sanitizer, so I was like, uh, maybe now's a good time. Luckily, he agreed. Hello, pretty. Passing by Lake Elmo now. The only person getting tickled around here is me by the mosquitoes. Why does my screen keep going dark? Hmm. I hope it's not showing up that way in the video. That's annoying. So as we go higher in elevation, we're finding more and more snow patches. But no more blowdowns, no more mud. Mainly though, my primary complaint is that this totally interferes with my snacking. It's some bullshit. <sighs> yeah, blowdowns all over the place. Fuck. I just checked my bag. We've been passing so much water. I didn't really think about getting any. And I'm out. And what the fuck? We got this cluster fuckery of blowdowns and snow. The snow is soft, like the main like concern with this. Well, first of all, I don't have any fucking traction in these shoes. But also, since it's thin, there's a bunch of snags everywhere. Like every down tree has like these broken off sticks and whatnot. I don't really care to get impaled on one of those. But yeah, now it's like shit. Probably should go find some water, but I guess first we'll go through this gauntlet of snow, mud, and blowdowns. Go oh, ahead, hey, the antelope tracks. I've forgotten how exhausting it is climbing up and down little snow things. I already fell, so hopefully I got my one fall in for the day. Get that out of the way early fell down a, like a steeper snow pile. But, oh God, this is such a pain in the ass. Yeah. Still better now than later when it'll be post holing. LOL. God, that's a wide ass. And then steep. It's like a water ski jump, but going in the wrong way. <sighs> Holy crap. That's some bullshit. Holy fuck. So we hung out here for a while, had second coffee, snacked on a bunch of stuff. Yay! Just kind of chilled for a while after that last round of snow patches and mud and blowdowns and mosquitoes. Oh my. Uh, I guess there's a campground, Summit something campground, Summit Lake campground, and a little over five miles. So maybe we'll stop there again and eat some more stuff it's always nice to like post up at a table and sit like grown-ups we found some good sitting logs though so that's nice here but oh so far it's been slow but pretty chill day overall I mean, who cares we're getting there we're getting there there's not supposed to be a lake here but if you were looking for your mosquito-borne vector diseases, that's the goodest place as any to catch them. And maybe a frog or two. A frogger. So we're just going over endless speed bombs of snow and blowdowns. Oh my God. It's almost like it would be easier. It would have been easier just to have it continue or just continuously covered. And then, you know, having to deal with the whole, I can't find the trail anymore thing. 
But oh my god, this is just redonkulous. Oh, yeah, it was a mud puddle. I already gave up on trying to keep my feet dry. There's just no way. And this is just silly. Ooh, what at this crazy fungus. What even are you? You look like sea coral. All right, I'll take pictures. So we're at 10,450 feet here. Oh my God, it is so slow going. I forgot how exhausting this was. I did not miss it at all. I'm so glad we went our way before coming back up to this because we're still going up another at least 1,000 feet. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what that all looks like. I can totally wait to see what all that looks like, but unfortunately, yeah, that's what's happening. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, just a ton of slipping and sliding now. It's like this is actually hot out here, as where it was warm. And uh, but yeah, still just mad snow up here. Lots and lots of mud. Lots and lots of blowdowns. And now we're getting back to the part where, we're like, you know, the trail becomes harder and harder to find again because snow is everywhere. Damn it! Look at that. That tree is like deep in snow. It's weird. It just like stacks up in some places and other places completely dry. <sighs> oh well. Hopefully, hopefully we can get over the high point and down a little bit so we don't have to worry about camping with so many snow skeetos. That'd be nice. We're back to miles of snow. Oh my God. It is so slow going, barely over a mile an hour, and exhausting stuff. It's basically just like soft lumps, slippery as hell, <clears throat> with, you know, blowdowns everywhere, and in between pools of mud. I've had my shoes sucked off once already. Oh, my screen went dark again. Man, I hope this isn't coming out in the video. I'll have to see later. I don't know how to fix it, but oh my goodness, it's just brutal out here today. So slow going. I did not miss this at all. And we're not done going up. We got a lot more up to do. Yay! Yeah, that's pretty much sums up our day. <laughs> Except for we're not going uphill right now. Holy crap. That's the trail. That little pond. Trail. Blow down. Snow. Mud. Wet. And here we have some glaciers covering the trail. Jesus, looks like some Titanic sinking icebergs over there. But, nope. Oh, maybe the trail goes up here. That's good, because I do not want to walk over that. That looks sketchy as hell. It's hot out here, actually. I don't even know how there's still snow. This stuff's melting fast. Oh, here's the trail up here. Just losing it. Sure looks like everybody is. Just put prints all over the damn place. <sighs> if only that was a zip line. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, that's a nice view though. Expansive. Zip line the hell out of here. Supposedly, we're on a Jeep road right now. We were hoping maybe some Jeeps had ridden, driven on it or it would be more clear. L O L. So we're back to having to use gut hook every three to five minutes. Because, oh, there it is. Even though at least the snow is fairly level, so it's not like, you know, it is cupped everywhere, so you can't really tell the footprints from the snow cupping. And uh, it's level, so there's options everywhere, and I don't know which one to take. Oh my gosh. It's supposed to be downhill, but because there's giant snow drifts everywhere, a downhill can mean that you're going to climb up 10 six foot snow banks in the next quarter of a mile and then slip and fall in the mud. My shoe keeps getting sucked off. <sighs> my feet are soaked. 
Oh, it's so slow. It's so frustrating because I'm used to going so much faster. But yeah, there's just no way to go through fast through this shit. Yeah, especially when you keep getting lost. We're lost here again. Because one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're probably not going backwards. Oh, a half dozen options, but check it out. Wow. That's beautiful. So we kind of sidetracked sneaker ski down here to Summit Lake Campground entrance. There's a toilet. Oh, I should probably grab my sticks. Apparently before they were able to get the bathroom unlocked, somebody surfaced shit in the vestibule. Which is a bummer because it's like the only shade around. And it's warm out here. Somebody also took a shit right there. Good God, people. You barbarians. You are getting in the way of me and minimal sun exposure. Anyway, we've had our fun. If possible, I'm in, I'm, we're gonna eat lunch here and like just generally fuck off for a little while because so far today has been exhausting and we have not got very far. And that's not really the big deal, but this is exhausting. Really the only thing that's made it tolerable is that we've had each other to keep company, but Eventually, we're both going to get sick of this shit and probably not want to do it anymore and get a little cranky. He thinks I'm going to get crankier than he does. Mm, I don't know. He can get peckish. I know that's a food term, but whatever. Use it in the context of walking through endless snow and mud and water and blowdowns. So, I'm going to spread out here on the road since nobody's coming up here. Eat something. Look at all the ten zillion thousand maps I've got. See if I can find some options. I mean, look at this sign. This is like the junction from hell. I got four options on this one. It's a three-way sign. Probably not going that way. And then a bunch of options. Going this way. And actually, I don't know, there's directions all over the place. So I'm going to check it out, see what we can find. I mean, we're only at like 10-3 right here. And it's like this. Can't find the trail half the time. And dealing with snow. So we're supposed to go to like 11-5. We were going to do that today. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe not. Anyway, eat first. Think better. So I looked at the maps and the apps, everything I got, and we're at 10,300 feet, and this is what it looks like here. And behind us is where you've seen where we have already been. Not that even, not even that much higher, like maybe 200, 300 feet. And um, if we continue forward on the trail, it goes up to almost 12,000 feet in the wilderness boundary. The Mount Circle Wilderness Boundary starts like right near here, um, which means there are no more roads. We came in here on a road, barely a road. I think that's actually the road we were supposed to come in on. We missed it, whatever. It's because we were in the snow and we couldn't find the trail. So, um, fuck that. We looked at some alternates, or I looked at some alternates, and I think I found a way to get around it, get around the highest spots, get back down low to where we can actually find the trail and roads, or find trails and roads. And um, so we're going to go for that, because otherwise, who knows when we're going to make it to encampment. Um, the Wyoming border is still like 45 miles away, and... Uh, yeah, if we're going one mile per hour or so-ish and just exhausting ourselves, that's a lot of hiking. That's way more time and energy and effort and mountaineering type snow crap, 
than either of us wants to do. I mean, really, it's beautiful to look at these mountains from the bottoms of them, but walking across them, you really just see the same thing all day long and your feet are always wet and they're always, you know, miserable. And there's still mosquitoes and there's blowdowns everywhere. So, I mean, just the going is super slow and this just is like, it's not that fun. So why the hell would we want to do this when it's just completely buried and all we can do is just watch our feet because we're slipping and sliding all over these mountains like drunken penguins without the benefit of actually being drunk or the fun. So we're going to take uh, Forest Road 60 towards Dry Lake Campground and actually Steamboat Springs. It's kind of funny, like, oh my god, it's a steamboat, it's like 25 miles away from the trailhead or the, the trail crossing that we got dropped off at, so that's not that bad. But we're gonna end up basically near the northern end of Steamboat in order to walk forest roads, and we're gonna stay on the forest um, as much as possible entirely to avoid the whole private land, crossing private lands, possibility of trespassing bullshit. Um, I read the map a little more closely and as long as we stay on a numbered route on the forest, even if it passes through private land, we're allowed to go. So we're going to do that and we're going to stay lower below 10,000 feet because that's pretty much, you know, snow free or just patches here and there and it's not that big of a deal and um, make our way up to encampment in Wyoming that way. But uh, the route we have looked at and agreed on basically puts us at the Colorado Wyoming border on the CDT again so we'll rejoin the trail but um, we're gonna actually get to the border in a way that's like makes much more sense for us and will be a lot more fun so we're gonna have an adventure and also I saw something about a hot spring on this map on this forest map so we may have a little side trip and a little detour because we like hot springs so we'll see how it goes try uh Dry Lake Campground is going to be our next stop where we figure things out and assess that's only eight miles from here. So we can at least do that today. It's already almost four o'clock. It has taken us all goddamn day just to get to Buffalo Pass. It is ridiculous. We started at like five this morning. So very frustrating. But luckily, you know, we're doing this together. And so it's been tolerable, if not even a little fun. But we're kind of over it already. We gave it a whirl and like, Nah, we're going back down the hill. So we're at Buffalo Pass. I'm pretty sure it's um, trail 1101 that ultimately we want to get back to. That's the trail that is the CDT at the Wyoming Colorado border. And we're going to be able to take, or hopefully we'll be able to take most of the way on our detour. So um, I'm not sure if the CDT goes on it or off it or if it's 1101 the whole time or if I just have the number wrong. But um, yeah, for the meantime, we're gonna take 60 out of here because we would otherwise be going up into more of that higher, longer, new. No. As bananas, it's July 14th and Summit Lake Campground at 10,300 feet is still not open for the season. And I'm gonna have a short season this year. All right. FS60, thanks for being here. I'm so glad we decided to look at maps here at Buffalo Pass, even though there's no ideal route to continue north. We have to backtrack a little bit or like, you know, go south a little bit to get north. We'll still be able to get there faster possibly safer, probably safer, and definitely happier. So I'm down. I don't think this uh, water is even a source on the map, but I can't get my guy to load up here, unfortunately. I only have a little bit, but Dan, look at this. It's coming down so hard. On the other side of the road, the bottom side of the road, it looks like a boiling spring down there. I'm crazy. I don't imagine water will be an issue for a while. Hopefully. Now, the lower we go, the more water there will be, frankly. 
We ran out of water today, three miles away from the next marked water source. And it's like, here at the top of the mountain, there's not as much water running out. There's snow everywhere, but not really any running water. This is better. Feeling better already. I got their water and erosion control management on point on this road, because check this out. Right above the road. Holy smokes. That thing is gushing. Wow. That was a beautiful waterfall. I bet that thing isn't even running in like some years during the dry season. Where does it come out? Oh, there it is. Holy smokes. Kick ass waterfall. Nice. Oh, wow. Maybe not entirely on point, but pretty damn close. Holy crap, it's like a multi level, four level waterfall. Just on the top of the road before it goes down. Pretty, pretty. There it is. Fueling the mosquitoes of tomorrow. Listen to these crazy frogs. Like snow frogs. What the hell? They stop. No, they're hollering when people come by. But oh my gosh. There's no lake here. They're just like posted up on the side of the road hoping to get laid. And not in the most beautiful mud puddle I've ever seen either, I gotta say. But holy crap. Either there's a ton of them, or they're super loud. We haven't even seen any yet. I think they're really small. But damn. Frogs are tough little bastards. So this road isn't even open to the public yet to Buffalo Pass. It's still closed for the season, even though it's July 14th. Oh my goodness, that's bananas. But other than the campground, it's really just one way to get over the hills. Hmm, just walk around. I did see a pair or an ultra track, so I'm thinking we may not be the first ones to come up with this idea. Now that we're down past where the forest roads close, there's cars all over the place in this forest. We just passed two, and a cute dog. There's some hunters out here somewhere. Hopefully they're heating by the whole don't shoot across a road thing. That's important. Uh, I loaded up the maps from Gaia for our alternate route and saw that we're actually not bypassing that big of a portion of the trail. Mainly just the part that goes the highest and through the wilderness. We're just going to be skirting along the western edge of the wilderness anyway, but just a lot lower and a lot more comfortably, theoretically. I mean, we are going past a place called Swamp Park and taking a Swamp Park trail for a while, so that should be super fun. I'm sure there's no mosquitoes there. But anyway... It's good to know that we'll be rejoining the trail soon, but we will be adding on additional miles taking this detour. However, since we can walk these roads at a way faster pace than 1.2 miles per hour or so, it'll all work out. Nice views on the road. We're back to getting dusted here and there, but I'll take it, I don't care. Just me all you want. Oh. Man, this is just gorgeous up here. We got a bunch of huge rocks up here too. You know I like them. But I keep forgetting it's Sunday, so people are like, you know, out doing weekend stuff. Also, you know, you tend to forget that it's midsummer when you're stomach through snow all day. So like a lot of people are off big families and kids and whatnot. Ooh, there's a little funnel cloud out there. I don't know if you can see that. Nice, glad I'm not under that. Oh my gosh. All of a sudden, the day turned pretty damn beautiful. 
We just got water on the from a little melt off a little pass where those people are camp on the road. I want to come up here because the views are epic up here. So that I come up here and see if there's a place to camp. It's a little rocky though. I don't know. On the plus side, plenty of rocks to make a fire ring because clearly people don't camp up here. Maybe nobody comes up here, I don't know. I don't really see much of a trail or anything. There was a campsite at the bottom of this little hill, but uh, you know, it's like basically all you're looking at is the other people camping. Seems dumb. I don't do that. And like over today, so. Oh shit, here's a fire ring. Okay, look. Where can we pitch a tent? I'm over today. It's been a long ass day. I'm exhausted. My back hurts from uh, having a super heavy pack and dealing with all that snow. Here's another fire ring. What? Oh, so people clearly do come up here because as far as I know, moose do not make fire rings. They also like water, so they probably don't really come up here at all. But oh shit. This would be nice. And maybe Crawler can get a nice sunset time lapse. And I think that maybe, maybe, maybe. I mean, you could have a ball or fire. Ooh. Yeah, there's wood around. There's some dead wood, dead wood. Not a lot though. Damn. Hmm. I guess he could work with that tree. Oh, there's a big ass dead log right there. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I'll take a picture of it and and take it back and see what the boss has to say. <laughs> I like to let him think he's the boss sometimes. It's fun. We found a pretty decent spot off of Forest Road 60. We have neighbors. They're not here. But they they pitch their tent in kind of a weird place, but whatever. The road's there, and then there's like a secondary road there. But we pitched our tent back here, and we're able to make a nice five night crawl. I made an awesome fire so that we could cook. And um, he tricked me into lightening his food bag by offering up the Velveeta shells and cheese. I'm smart. Bam. So I at least got to get rid of a tuna packet. <sighs> tuna packet what the hell I'm like a pound but man. whatever it's so delicious though oh my god super good I, I, I would have added a tapatio into it but man that stuff is so deep in my food bag I ain't want to play in there anyway it is a beautiful evening hopefully we'll get maybe we'll have a decent sunset I don't know we can't really see the hill there's some clouds though and some clouds this way for a river sunset so we'll see well, I overshopped. Nightcrawler got rid of like who knows how many ounces, maybe even a pound of food. Mm, sharing his macaroni and cheese with me, but it was Velveeta creams and um, creamy shells and cheese. It's my favorite. Oh my god, it's like my favorite food ever for trail. I actually I really like it a lot, just in general. It's like comfort food. But anyway, all I got rid of was a pack of tuna and two Oreos, and I still have this. Oh my god. Dumb. Anyway, it's a little bit after eight. The mosquitoes are gonna start coming out in force here in a minute, I imagine. The gnats are going crazy. Uh, I'd rather have gnats than mosquitoes though. But regardless, I'm gonna hit the hay. We're gonna get up early and get a move on tomorrow. It's road walking, so. And there will still be mosquitoes. So, ideally up at four, out by five. Mm -hmm. Gotta get some sleep. Night. <laughs>